In this video, we're covering movements 79 through 86 of this form. So it's a lot of movements, but the good news is they're exact duplicates of move 22 through 29 of the form. So this entire set of movements is an exact duplicate. So if you need details on any specific movement in this set, move 79 through 86, then go back to the videos that explain moves 22 through 29 of this form. There are links to each of those videos down in the video description. This should just be a review though. You should have those movements down already from when we learned them before. Nothing's changed about these moves. Everything is an exact duplicate. So I'm only going to show these movements from one angle and I'm just going to go through briefly reviewing what the movements are supposed to be, let you know which movement corresponds to what number of the movement in the form and then we're going to move on to the next video. Our last movement, left is facing off to the east with the right leg forward, the right hand forward, and the weight shifted back to the left leg. Left hand palm up in front of the lower belly. From facing to the east with the right arm extended forward, we're going to turn our attention back as we sweep the left hand back, and it comes up palm down. It's going to rotate palm up, sending that spiral through to the front hand, and our attention turns to the front hand as it turns palm up. From here, you bend the left arm, pick up the right leg at the same time. Step straight back with the right foot, touching with the toe. Turn the heel in toward the center line. Shift back, pushing with the left, pulling with the right. Again, sweep back with the right hand, palm down. Rotate it palm up, send that wave through, turn your attention forward. Left hand turns palm up. Bend the right arm, pick up the left leg. Step straight back with the left, touching with the toe. Turn the heel in, shift back, pulling with the left, pushing with the right. From here, the right hand drops down and circles in toward the lower belly. The left hand circles out and around and comes in toward the chest like you're holding a ball in front of you. So you make a circle here. At the same time, you pull the foot in and you turn your body to face northeast. From here, you pick up the right knee as high as you can comfortably and pivot to face southwest. From here, you're going to step out toward the southwest with the right heel and extend forward with the right hand. Remember, it's forward and up, coming out to about face height. Rock back. Pull the hands in like the fingertips are scooping toward you, or toward each other, rather, as you pull the right foot in toward you. Left hand goes above the right, crossing at the wrists. As you bring the hands up, you bring the knee up, and you're going to slide down the outside of the left arm with the right arm and then extend toward the southwest as you kick. So from here, come up, slide, extend and kick, and then set the heel down, gently touching the floor. From here, the left hand goes under the right and you sweep across the front of the left arm with the right arm. At the same time, you turn the right foot so that it's facing southeast. Shift to the right foot as the right hand climbs up and the left hand drops. Open across as you pick up the left knee, step down, and settle to face east. Push across with the right hand, left hand comes up off to the northwest. Drop the right hand, push across the top with the left hand, turning back to face south. From here, the left hand drops down and the right hand sweeps up as you pick up the left knee. Step out to the east with the left heel, bending the right arm. Drop the right elbow, turn, shift forward, and push with the right hand. Shift back, raising the right hand up to the side, left hand in front. Here. Left foot barely touching the floor on the toe, right hand up, left hand out. Dive down with the fingertips of the right hand. Come up, raising both hands and the left knee making sure the torso is twisted. Step forward with the left foot on the heel. At the same time, start to rotate the hands. Push forward with the left hand and up to the side with the right. Now we're going to go through and explain the numbering so you'll know which number goes with which movement of the form. Now the movement that we did in the last video was move 78. So we're going to start at move 78 because that's where we left off in the last video. Then the first move that we're going to go into in this video is going to be move 79. That's where the form completely starts to repeat through this whole section. So starting facing to the east with the right leg forward and the right hand forward, this is the end of move 78. As we sweep back, we're beginning move 79. Turns palm up, turns palm up, 
bend, step, shift, and push. So that was move 79. As we sweep back, we're beginning move 80. Palm up, turn, palm up. From here, bend the right arm, pick up the left knee, step back, gently touching with the toe, shift back and push. Now we transition, sweeping in with the arms, stepping in with the right foot, facing to the northeast. Come up, turn, and step. So that transition all the way through this movement here would be considered 81. Now we're going into movement 82. So shift back, pull the foot in, hand scoop in, come up, right hand slides off the left, extend out, and set the heel down. That's move 82. Now we're going into the white crane spreads its wings, so we're going to move 83. Left hand drops underneath, right hand sweeps across, turning the right foot to face southeast, shift to the right, open, and settle. Now we sweep across. We're going in to move 84. Pivot, turn, so that's our transition up to here. Then you step, drop the elbow, and push. That's move 84. From here, we rock back, raising the arms up, shifting to the right foot, pulling the left foot in, drop down, needle at sea bottom. That's move 85. From here, we come up. We're going into move 86 here. Step and push. That's move 86. So as I said before, moves 79 through 86 are exact duplicates of moves 22 through 29 of this form. So hopefully you've been practicing them enough that going into this will be no problem at all. But if you need more details on any of those movements, go back to videos that cover movements 22 through 29 of this form, and I'll give you details on all of these movements because they're absolutely identical to the movements at this part. I hope this video was a good enough review to jog your memory for those movements. As always, I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you for watching.